hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and today i am going to sewing my shirt if you check out my previous video i showed you guys all the pieces that i was going to cut out of the pattern actually i showed you guys when i was drafting the pattern and also cutting the fabric pieces so here i have all the pieces and i'm just gonna show you quickly what i'm going to be using so i have two back pieces because i'm going to put a zipper that's why i cut out two of them i have uh, one front piece i have two sleeves one for the left and one for the right two skirts one is gonna go under and then one is gonna go on top and one thing that i forgot to show you guys was facing so i did cut out three pieces of facing one for the front and um two for the back so with facing you just trace your neckline and a little bit of your shoulder so these are about seven centimeters wide and yeah so i forgot to show you this but it's really really simple if you don't know how to cut out your face so those are all the pieces that i'm going to be using and as for the notions i have two threads blue one and the orange one I have a zipper which is a 50 centimeter zipper long and it's in orange because my top is going to be more orange. I have my fabric scissors to cut out like loose threads. I have my measuring tape to take any measurements if I need to take out anything from the garment. I have my seam ripper which I need all the time. So I'm going to be adding some chronoline. So this is going to make my peplum stand up a little bit. So it's going to give it a little bit of drama. And pins. I need pins when I'm working. I need to pin those pieces together before I start sewing. So I need my pins. So these are all the things that I'm going to be using, including my sewing machine. So let's get started. So I went ahead and transferred all my darts onto my pieces from the pattern, just using a chalk. And now I'm going to go ahead and stitch them. So I have all my darts here. I'm going to go ahead and stitch the darts. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to put all the pieces together, right sides facing like so and then stitch the shoulders and also the sides so this is how the top is looking i also pressed the darts just press them inward and also the back ones so this is how it's looking uh the sides i finished them with a zigzag stitch both sides and the shoulders so the shoulders i didn't join them i open them i did a zigzag on them separately because i'm going to put on a facing i wanted them to stay flat but i did finish them with a zigzag so now i am going to work on the sleeves i have two sleeves i just mark them um with a cross inside just so i know which way is the right way so i'm just going to join them together here on the inseams like so and then after i join them i'm going to attach them on the top so i have the left one and the right one so i'm done inserting the sleeves they're looking actually really really good so i end up um not using the ones that i cut first because i realized that i didn't add seam allowance around the sleeves like they were fitting me they were perfect for the pattern but they were too tight so i wanted something that was a little bit loose so i ended up adding seam allowance all around which made it a little bit bigger so i end up gathering them here on the shoulders and they actually look really really good <laughs> like they turned out looking really really good with this gather effect which will, will actually look perfect for the top that i'm making so that's like a little change that i made but everything looks great so now I am going to attach the bottom skirt, the peplum, before I work on the zip. So here are my two circle skirts. So I'm going to cut out like a straight line on both of them. So I can attach them easily. So 
So I just cut it open like that and also the blue one. So I'm going to pin the top together with the skirts, right sides facing. And then after that, I will go ahead and stitch everything. So I'm going to make sure that um, the beginning matches both the skirts and the top. Like so. Make sure everything is aligned. And then I'm going to start pinning the whole thing together. So I have everything pinned together now with the bottoms. I'm going to go ahead and stitch around using half an inch seam allowance. And then I'll also do a zigzag to finish everything. And then after that, I'll come and insert the zipper. So I went ahead and pinned the zipper on. So this is how it's looking. I pinned it right size facing. So the zipper is facing the fabric on the right side. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and base stitch on the top of the zipper, just like this on the right side. And then after that, I will turn it around, stitch on top of the zipper and the access fabric, stitch around, around, and then pivot, turn, stitch, 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 all the way up here. So as you can see up here, I left some access. I'm still going to turn this over when I attach the facing. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it. And after that, I'm also going to close down here. So I still have this piece to close. After attaching the zip, so on the zip, I'm going to join both fabric together to the zip. But after that, I will only sew them separately. These two skirts here. Now I'm going to work on the facing pieces. I have the front facing and two back facing. So I'm going to join them together like so. So here I have my three pieces of the facing. I'm going to join them here and here. And then after that, I will do a zigzag going around and also here on the opening. This is where the zipper is going to be. And then I'll also zigzag the stitches separate and then open them and then iron them flat so i am done inserting the zipper still not 100 percent perfect but it's better than the last time so here's my zipper it goes all the way down here it was about 50 centimeters almost 20 inches long so it's easy for me to get in and out of the top easily so here's the zipper done and i also closed uh here and here and i also finished it with the zigzag this is how the zip looks on the inside looks really really good i also trimmed off all the access and just do a zigzag joining the zipper to the fabric and I also finished the end. Everything is looking good. I still have to finish the sleeves. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the armholes as well. I just need to trim off the accessible allowance and do a zigzag. Now I am going to pin on the facing piece. So I'm going to pin it on the shoulders. Around all the way to the neck and then after that i'm gonna go and stitch it on finish the sleeves and the hem of the sleeves so i was gonna add this orange fabric on the hem of the sleeves but i've decided not to so i'm just gonna go ahead and hem them as well and then i'll be left with the bottom hem so here i have the facing pinned to the top and also on the zipper so i'm going to go ahead and stitch around and after that, I will also trim the access fabric here because as you can see, I have access fabric here. I'm going to trim this off and do a zigzag again. So I'm going to finish the whole thing, finish the whole neck. Also finish the sleeves here and then do the hem. And then after that, I will come and show you how I'm going to hem the skirts. 
so this is how the neckline is looking i have the facing inside everything is looking great i also finished the sleeve hems and also the other one is looking great so sorry about the noise it's actually raining now and i also hemmed the first skirt the yellow skirt the top one so i just folded it and did like a normal hem all around so now i'm going to work on the blue one i'm going to add some crinoline this is the color that i thought it was a little bit closer to um, the skirt but no one's gonna see it anyway so i wanted a thick one and i couldn't find a clear one on the thick one so i decided to just get this one so this is what i'm going to use to hem the bottom skirt and so this is a two inch crinoline i'm taking a piece of fabric which i just folded into like a bias tape so i'm just gonna put the end piece of the crinoline and i'm going to stitch here and i will also do the same at the end i have another piece of fabric here so now i'm going to stitch this on right on the edge so i'm going to stitch it on the edge of the skirt around and then after that i will turn everything around give it a good press and then stitch the other ends to the dress and then i'll be done so this is the final result so this is the inside and this is the outside everything looks amazing so this is the final top so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye